It's not uncommon for musicians with special needs to meet people who view their disabilities as too great a challenge or too difficult an obstacle to overcome. Many are told no, or they are told you can play, but over there, on the sidelines, and are never truly integrated with other students. Many are presented with impossible obstacles to overcome. In this program, we'll meet some directors, musicians, parents, and peers who not only said yes to a challenge, but embraced the process of inclusion. There was this one high school I was looking at that uh, focused a lot on, the, on music and arts, and I wanted to, to perhaps audition. Actually, I had to audition to, to go to this high school and study there, and my, my parents had a meeting with them and they were told that I was not going to be able to audition because I can't read music and you know, I'd put everyone else behind because of the way I was. I think every parent can be the best advocate for their child if they choose to be, to be so. You have to get involved and you've got to really want to advocate for your son or your daughter. Uh, if you're not willing to do it, then nobody's gonna do it for you. The laws as they are today are set up for parents to be great advocates. You can control everything your school system or your band director or anybody else is doing concerning your child. I have found through this and in conversations with other students and other band directors that there are doors being shut to other kids left and right. And I want to get those doors open. I want the mindset of other band directors or other teachers to think differently. 